Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and I'm going to be playing Resistance 1. Now, this is going to be a blind let's play. I've never played any of the Resistances, nor do I really know the story of any of the Resistance games. So this is going to be a very interesting experience. Uh, I did try, I, 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 I wanted to test out the controls a little bit, so I jumped into a multiplayer map, and I don't think Resistance 1 has aged well at all. Um, but it's okay, because I'm... I'm, I'm I want to see the other two games. People have told me those look great and they play great. So this is obviously a pretty dated title in comparison to playing in 2013, but that's fine. Uh, it's actually kind of weird. There's a lot of different tales being told to me about. Uh, people said that Resistance 1 was great and Resistance 2 was great and that Resistance 3 was all right or bad. And there are some people who said that Resistance 3 was the greatest and the other two were kind of meh. So, I guess I'll just have to form my own opinion. This is now, like I said, this is almost completely blind. The only thing I know about Resistance 1 is that there's a gun that you could shoot one bullet at, and then you could just fire all the rest of the bullets and they go to that exact same person or location. And I was like, oh, it's like the fifth element made into a game. That's cool. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get, get into this. I'm rambling. Uh, and see what we've got going on. So campaign, new game. I'm gonna put it on... I'm not sure. I, I, I think I'll leave it on medium. Just because I'm not sure what kind of enemies are inside. Nah, we'll put it on hard. Fuck it. We've been... Oh, but at the same time, I'm, I'm really bad with the PS3 controller. I think it's better for me to play on medium and work my way up to hard. As I get used to the PlayStation 3 controller for first-person things, right? Yeah, that sounds good. If this was on PC, I'd crank that shit up to hard immediately. The Khmeran threat began in Russia. The origin of the virus is unknown, but its effects were devastating and swift. In the 1930s, reports of biological experiments began leaking out of Russia. Then reports of villages destroyed overnight. Then entire cities. We feared the Russians had developed a weapon of unparalleled power. The truth was far worse. The Chimera stayed sealed within Russia for over a decade. Then, in 1949, they launched an attack that overwhelmed all of Europe in a matter of weeks. For several months, we thought England was safe. But in October of 1950, the Chimera burrowed under the channel. We had prepared for them, but in three months' time, the war was lost. We abandoned the cities to the Chimera and retreated to scattered military bases and outposts. The Chimera had won. I see. On July These Chimera 11, guys. Who the hell are they? Launched an assault on the eastern coast of England. Guess we'll find that out later. The second wave of that assault was a sergeant named Nathan Hale. The actions of that soldier have become a matter of both scrutiny and myth. What follows are the known events of his life from July 11th to July the 14th, the day he was last seen. Three days? Oh, okay. In three days, what, he just becomes like the most badass motherfucker ever to exist? I'm pretty sure the Chimera are like... mutant humans. Yeah, that sounds... about right. So they actually have thought, though? They're not just like, oh, we're zombies. Ah! Alright. We had VTOLs in the 1950s? I legitimately don't know. <laughs> soldiers had no idea what they would soon be facing. The US government had sealed its borders in 1950. Radio waves and newspapers became state property. Only the highest levels of their government knew the truth. The operation was an exchange. The Americans were bringing supplies and tanks into York. We were giving them our one secret weapon. Something we could offer that they couldn't build themselves. I was the commander of the convoy team that was to meet the U.S. soldiers. We were ambushed in Manchester on the way to the rendezvous. There was no way to warn the Americans. They were on their own in York, fighting an enemy they knew nothing about. We never learnt exactly what happened there. All we know is that Nathan Hale was the sole survivor. Well, that's not a nice tale. What? 
So you're telling me I'm dropping down into, well, me living but everyone else dying? Well, that's not fun. Alright, hit me with the tutorial game. I, I, I need to learn the controls legitimately and instill them into my mind as fast as possible. Obviously, the left analog stick will always be to move. And if anyone who ever makes that change, well, they're going to get a lot of scrutiny. <laughs> they're going to be yelled at and be like, Bro, why would you make the left analog stick not move your character? That is dumb. That is stupid. And you're like, sorry, bro. Okay, I don't know how to actually control myself. I have to learn. Okay, right analog stick to look around, left analog stick to move, and that is a grenade. How do I zoom? Aha! Dude, we just got just dropped, dropped straight into this shit. I am so confused as to what's going on, but it's okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I put it on hard mode. I'm, I'm sorry, I will look like an idiot running around like this, like, Whoa, Aslo! I don't know what's going on. Uh oh Hey! Stop this shit! Oh, you want me to fuck you up? Don't worry, I got you. Grenade, bitch! Ooh! You know, okay, let me retract a statement. The game has... Oh, wow. Um, the game has sort of aged well. It doesn't look too terrible. I was just judging the multiplayer environment, you know? Okay, all right. Let's just head off and kill more people. If there's one thing that hasn't aged, it's the animations. What is this? Oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah. I can't even take your ammo. I really can't carry all that much. Can I go this way? No. Okay. I have to go this way. Aha. But yeah, no, this, there should be like a little in between. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. I'm examining the controls of this game. You guys are the Chimera, which... I, you actually kind of look like aliens. No one knows where they came from. How about space? That sounds like a pretty good place, especially because of the fact that, you know, supposedly the Russians started doing experimentations after the Chimera came. So it's safe to say that, yeah, they came, they came from space. It's gotta be. Jesus Christ! Everyone's getting fucked up! I don't even know how to run! Can I run? Oh! Hey, something that we can we can choose. Hold R1 for an automatic fire. Tap R1 for a single accurate shot. Well, duh. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have a complete inability to sprint. I will fuck up the enemies like no tomorrow. Or not. Okay, let's just head off through the grass. Jump. Crouch. Roger that. Hey, big mans. You have laser weaponry. I think that's the bigger question. What is going on? We're in 1951. These guys have some highly advanced weaponry, but they're probably aliens, or they have alien intellect, or ancient mind intellect. Okay. Oh, actually, I thought we had 50 shots. It's actually 50 shots per magazine, and we have 103 backup shots. Gotcha. Okay. Dude, why is everyone dead? They're not that hard to kill. Like, look, here's this guy. He's gonna pop out. And I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Okay, fine. I'll just shoot him completely. There! That's all you have to do. You saw that, right? Right? <laughs> hey, at least he took it like a man. I think he'll live for a while. Alright. I don't know if there's a sprint button or not. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we are playing through the tutorial portion of the game. And these enemies aren't too bad. Uh, maybe I will stick up the d the difficulty. Okay, I can't. Sprint, sprint, sprint. No sprint? Well, that sucks. Alright, fine. Let's just keep going. Oh, you know what? My health's at the bottom left. No regenerating health. <gasps> Old school gaming. Yeah, that's not going to last very long. I can guarantee that in the rest of the Resistance series, probably going to have some help, regenerating health, which is okay. I actually prefer... I don't know. I, 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 I like a little bit of a mix. I like being able to regenerate health 
But I also like having to be forced to maintain health as long as there's like an inventory system that allows me to get health back. Stuff like that. Also, there are people dying up top. Ah, they'll be fine. <gasps> Look at all the cans. Amazing can physics! That's not really doing much. I do not think I'll be meleeing any enemies this game. <laughs> no, this seems so pathetic. But if I ever have the need to, I guess I could. Guys, are you alive? Ah. You have a grenade. Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah! Oh, wow. I wish I could take the weapons. The little plasma weaponry. Maybe I will eventually in the future. But for now, I need to get out of here. All right. Oh, no, you don't. Grenade! Ow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Side passage attack! Pal! I don't think you know who you're dealing with. My name is Nathan Hale. And supposedly, I am the sole survivor of this entire incident. Which... Considering... The increased amount of deaths that keep on occurring around me, I don't doubt. These guys are kind of doing terrible. Hey, guys! Don't die, I'll be right down! Woo! Bullseye! The Bullseye is the Chimerian ba main battle rifle. It has a rapid cyclic... It has a rapid cyclic rate and a high damage capability. Pressing L1 fires a homing tag. Once a tag is marked, the tag will... Or wait, once a foe is marked, the tag will draw the Bullseye primary fire. Skillful placement of the, the tag allows entire magazines of ammunition to be placed on a target from the safety of cover. It is also very effective against fast-moving targets. Okay. I kind of... Oh, well, whatever. I got, I got an awesome weapon. Oh, but it feels like I should have been able to go through there. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down so quickly. Oh, well. I can either use this gun, which actually seems pretty advanced for a 1951 weapon. Or I can use this gun, which is obviously laser weaponry. Awesome. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no. Look who's dead. <laughs> it's you. I don't think I'm going to need this all that much. As awesome as it is. As awesome as it is, I think I'll be fine. Unless there's like a really big enemy and I don't want to be hit, then I'll do it. Yeah, all right. But for now, we use this. Nah, fuck that. Laser, bro. What I do need, however, is I need some health. I'm getting fucked up, actually. Whoops. Fire! Lasers! Jesus! I need to learn how to crouch. And by learn how to crouch, I mean just, I know how to crouch. But I need to, like, go into my mind and be like, oh, I should crouch. Jesus Christ. Sod off! Skill point? Skill point? The fuck is a skill point? Okay. How about instead of a skill point? Jesus! Instead of a skill point, can I get some health? I'm getting fucked up. Alright, but can I get some health? Because, uh, I might be dead. Which would kind of contradict the story that was told to everybody. Right? Just saying, maybe we don't want that. At least I don't. Oh! Loading screen! Captain, you seeing this? What the hell is that? Holy shit! Supposed to be the sole survivor if I just got knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Camaran virus. Our only clue is a journal entry recovered from the body of a U.S. medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. Unlike the other soldiers, his body had no wounds at all. The sergeant refused any kind of medical examination, insisting on catching up to the rest of the company. If that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, then he remains the only known person to wake up after being infected. Whether the Camaran virus mutated within him, or whether his body had an innate resistance to it, remains a mystery. 
I don't know, but that's uh <laughs> That was disgusting. Come on. A bunch of bugs running into me. I would have rather have been bit. Yeah. Would've been far more interesting. A lone survivor. Well, obviously, I guess that's why we're the lone survivor, because we're the only one who lived being infected by the Chimera virus. Hey, Sarge, you alright? Hey! They told me Arrow 2 was wiped out. Come on. Alright, sure. Uh, my health is all the way back. That's nice, at least. I don't really like this weapon. It doesn't really have a lot of oomph. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, I guess those would qualify for fast-moving targets. Ah, ah, ah! Bad! Bad! Get that shit back! You'll be fine, Sarge. Or... Whatever the hell you are. Medic! I have... Lasers! And they work out pretty well. I would answer you, but we don't actually legitimately know. Nathan Hill doesn't know. Only we know. Because we have advanced knowledge of the future. Oh, shit. Oh, God. They're all attacking me. I need you to live, too, man. You're the one who writes the journal entry. No. No. Fuck. Hey, uh... Can you write a journal entry for me? Oh boy. Oh Jesus. I'll keep you alive, don't worry! I promise you that! Actually, maybe I shouldn't make you a promise that I don't know if I can actually keep. Let me just go ahead and reload. So apparently the Chimera virus is also a bunch of bugs. Little tiny annoying bugs that jump at people and stab them in the chest. Which I don't want at all, so get that out of here. Thank God for curses glowing red. Ah! Nope. And him? I think he's dead. Oh, thank God. Alright. <gasps> You're right, maybe I should be using this. Rather than my lasers? Oh yeah, I don't even have that much ammo left. That's bad. It's bad. Oh shit! Whoa, bro, bro, bro! Watch out! Shit. Pick up the Chimera and sink... Sim back serum to restore 20% of your health. The what? Oh! So now I can take their health packs! Ah! That's nice! So I guess because of the fact that I was infected, now I can use some of their weaponry and shit like that. Or, well, some of their health things. Or maybe it just allows us to be healed anyways. <clears throat> Medical Journal, Dr. Ian Coxon. Further research into Chimera physiology physiology suggests their rapid regeneration ability may be a result of more than their metabolic rate alone. We have known for some time that sufficient damage will kill a chimera outright or leave it with list lasting wounds that ca the creature cannot heal. But recent research suggests the chimera have developed a symbiotic bacteria which complements and amplifies their healing abilities. The bacteria are suspended in a viscous, viscous yellowish fluid our researchers have dubbed the Simbac Serum. We believe the bacteria is likely destroyed during the healing process, which means that the Chimera would be dependent on further ejections of the serum as they sustain more damage. Okay. I, 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 it works for me, so I'm part... Uh, I'm, part I'm part Chimera, and that works out. Whatever. What is this? Ah! Grenades! Grenades are always fun. I don't really use them a hell of a lot, but it works out. Hello? I hear walking. That might just be me. You never know. Nope! It's enemies! Grenades! Oh, Jesus! That was a bad grenade toss. Oh, man. It's okay. It's alright. Hey! Stop that! Oh, you're not my regular gun. Here we go. Bullseye tag. Nah, I don't need those. My regular human weaponry could work out just fine. Thank you very much. Boom, melee tag. 
Mm-hmm. Where'd that guy come from? Oh! I thought we were getting support, but we're not actually getting support. Avoid taking damage to regenerate health up to the nearest quarter level. <gasps> now we do get a little bit of regeneration back. Ah! I like being a chimera. Yo! Nathan Hale here! Yeah, I kind of wasted my grenades. Damn it! Don't worry, man. Guys, I just heard over the radio while I was being distracted by all these enemies. I will definitely come to your aid. I just have to find health. Or keep in cover. I could have just kept in cover there, but I wanted to kill them all, so... Excuse me. Ooh, a tank! 